Hey, boss friends. How's it going? Hope everything is going well. Glad that you came to check out another one of my videos because I am glad to be giving you little pieces of me. Okay? Little sprinkles of Shanji. Just all over. Little Shanji sprinkles. Yes, honey. It's so much of me to give. So much, baby. Gemini sun. Gemini sun, Virgo rising here. So much to give to y'all. And I'm giving it, giving it, giving it. Whether you like it or not. But I hope that you do like it. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure that you're checking me out on IG. It's me, Shan.G, on IG. Link's going to be down below me. Oh, you see that rhyme? You see that rhyme? I should have pursued my rap career. That's what I should have did. I don't think it's too late. It's never too late. It's never too late for anything. And that's kind of what brings me to my topic of today's video. Things that I've learned in my early 30s, honey. I've learned so much more from 30 to, I'm going to be 35 in June. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I've learned so much in these last five years about life and about myself. And I just want to share it with you, okay? Things I've learned in my early 30s, from 30 to 34, 35, okay? First of all, it's never too late, okay? Never too late. I remember when I was growing up and I heard people say they were 35 and I just knew they were senior citizens, honey. And now that I am about to be 35, I don't know if like what it means to be an adult has changed, but um, I don't feel old. I don't, in fact, 35 is not old. Let's just say that. But I don't feel the old that I once thought that 35 was. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. But I don't feel that, um, that you know, life is too late, like that I have to be completely settled in my life. Um, it's never too late. You can start a new career. You can start um, a new hobby, a new interest, a new passion, pursue a new job. You can go back to school. You can um, produce children. You can adopt children. You can get married. You can find a new mate. You can do whatever. In fact, you can completely start your life over and rebrand it as I have. So it's never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 ever too late. You hear me? Never too late. Never. Um, also, you know, thinking about it's never too late. Do not let those youngins bully you, honey. Do not. You know, the first thing that they want to do is um, age shade and, you know, all oh, auntie and, and yes, baby, I, I, a big auntie, big sis. Because guess what I had to really realize? I have been 25, I've been 21, I've been 18. They have never been my age before. And it's only one direction that you can go, and it's this one. You cannot go back. To being young okay so all you can do is live your life and, and have it be fulfilled okay i just can't say that word normal anymore it's always fulfilled okay but don't let the young girls make you feel as if you're lacking excuse me don't let the young girls make you feel as if you need to sit down and Oh, uh, why she why she doing it? Why she wearing them hair colors? Why she uh uh she need to go sit down and have some babies or something. Baby, I can do whatever I want to do and I'm gonna live this life and I'm going to live it on my terms at all times. So don't let the young girls bully you. Um, but also don't be a bully to the young girls. You better teach these girls. You you better teach them something. You you have so much value that you can give. And I honestly, I wish that when I was in my 20s um, and teens that I had older women that were doing positive things that would, wanted to teach me and wanted to take me under their wing. So that's, I honestly make it a big point to be big sis, auntie, whatever I need to be to get through to you. And to make it so that you feel comfortable with coming to me. Because we have so much value to give in our 30s to these women in their 20s. And there's, for some reason, like a disconnect. 
uh, where it's like we're competition and we're not. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're all going to the same destination. All of us. The only difference is I've been going to the destination longer than you have. Okay? So, don't bully the young girls. Teach the young girls, especially the, the misguided ones. I know it's easy to be like, mm-mm, uh-uh, because when I was younger, I was not doing that. But you probably were. You probably were. You were probably doing something worse. We all have a past, honey. Get past it and teach these young girls, okay? And that's that. Um, also, love yourself. Self-love is the best love. I spent a big portion of my teens and 20s, late teens and 20s, um, putting love into relationships, men, women, friendships, whatever it was. Um, love yourself first. That's the only person that you need to focus on and everything else will fall into place. I promise you, I assure you, love on yourself. Like when I say love on yourself, take yourself on some dates. Spend time with yourself. If you haven't checked out my video about self-reflection, make sure that you go and check it out. I'll try to link, leave the link below. I'm sorry, not self-reflection. I'm spending time with yourself in self-reflecting. <laughs> uh, if you haven't checked out that video, make sure that you do. It's so, it's so important. It's so, so, so important. Also, intuition is real, okay? <sighs> Women's intuition is a real thing, and you should use it all the time. Don't let anybody else, don't. It's real. What you thought, it was. And th don't get me wrong, sometimes we can psych ourselves out. But when you really are in tune with yourself and your higher self, and you really know how to listen to yourself for those messages, it is what it is. That that stuff you thought, it was that. It was that. I, it was that. Don't don't let nobody tell you different. It was that. They was talking junk about you. He was being slick. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that gut feeling, it's real. Intuition is so real. But you need to connect with yourself in order to really um, gain that sight that you need. Um, biggest thing that I've learned from 30 to 35 is trying new things. <laughs> Do not be afraid to try new things. It's it's going to feel uncomfortable. It is. It's going to be very uncomfortable. Um, Just for example, sushi. Like, <laughs> if you knew me, you would have known. Like, back in the day, I was like, ew, ew, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Now, I have to have it. It's so good. It's so good. Or, Lamb chops too. Like um, I had this weird thing in my head because I don't know, you know, if you're '80s '90s baby like me, and you know, you remember lamb chops play along. I just couldn't eat lamb chops because I would always think about lamb chops. So, yeah, but try new things. It's so important, and you will find some of your new favorites. I know that was kind of being silly there, but you know, I can't. That's just me, Shanji. I gotta throw a little. Sprinkle a little comedy. Little. The razzle dazzle up in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, say no. Say no. No. Can no. I I can't. No. And don't uh, you don't have to say no with like out oh, out oh, hell. Uh uh. I'm not doing that. No. 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 But set boundaries for yourself and stick to them. I have this one friend. Never calls to hang out. Never calls to do anything. Doesn't come check on me. You know, only around for the highlights. But she always asking for something. And I have learned to say, no. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. I don't have time for that. No, I know. And it's not just to where I, I want to hurt somebody's feelings. It's just that I have to sit, I have to stick to my boundaries. It's, it is what it is. It is. It just is what it is. Love you to death, but say no. Say no to the things that you don't like. Say no to the things that you don't want. Moving right along because we had some technical difficulties. Um, don't be afraid to take that leap. Take a leap of faith. faith. Walk. <sighs> Step out on faith. Like, you are never going to be as ready as you want to be. You're never going to be as ready as you want to be. So really just move forward. And take that leap of faith. 
um, whatever that job is, pursue that passion, pursue that dream and, or that interest, start a new hobby, go on a solo trip, whatever it is that you've been wanting to do and then you keep holding off, keep, just do it because it, it, you're going to keep psyching yourself out. You're going to keep psyching yourself out. And finally, move at your own pace. It's not a, it's not a competition. It's not a race. It's a marathon. We all are going to the same destination. So move at your own pace. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel fulfilled. And just love on you, baby. Just love on you. I hope that this message gave you some value. It gave me a lot of value to be able to give it to you. Share it with somebody. Um, they may find some value in it. Make sure you hit me up on IG. It's me, Shan.G. And comment below and tell me, one of some of the things that you have learned in your 30s. Love you to pieces.